Hey, welcome to Theo Trade. This is Don Kaufman, and in this particular demonstration, I'm going to be talking a, a bit about the expected move calculation on Thinkorswim. So I've already gone ahead and pulled up uh, the trade tab on Thinkorswim, uh, typed in Apple, the marquee underlying, if you will. And I'm going to go ahead in this case, and I'm going to open up the uh, the DS2, the weekly. So with the expected move, it's it's not critically important, you know, what expiration per se that you're looking at, whether it's weekly, whether it's a monthly, whether it's a quarterly. The single most important aspect, though, is undoubtedly, okay, some volume to the options that are being traded because we're going to again we're going to talk a bit about expected move and with expected move what it's really based on and the expected move is right over here on the right hand side of your screen what it's really based on is options and option pricing so the more volume you get of the options the more effective the expected move happens to be in this case with a mere eight days remaining to expiration, you can see the expected move is sitting plus or minus three dollars and approximately forty nine cents. So for argument's sake here, let's just call it three fifty. All right, three dollars and approximately fifty cents plus or minus. So there's absolutely no directional bias, okay, to an expected move. And again, you're like, well, so what is the expected move? Well, if it says $3.50, ultimately, the expected move comes down to a type of probability of expiring. And what that ultimately, you know, means is if you take a look at, at Apple and, you know, there's what? It's a $116 stock, which roughly it is right now. It means it can move up about $3.50 or down about $3.50. Now that's what the options are implying that will occur 68.3% of the time okay, in the next eight days. Now it doesn't say it's going to stay inside of that $3.50 range. It says there's a 68% chance of expiring inside of that $3.50. And 50 cent range. And how does it again, how does it really, you know, arrive at the $3.50? For the most part, again, it's using the option pricing in the chain as it stands right now, okay, averaging the implied volatilities and deriving again expectation of price movement. So, if you will, what expected move really does is it extrapolates option pricing into stock price movement. And again, you know, how good is this? Well, 68% of the time, but where's the 68% from? And that's really, that's a one standard deviation move. So a frequent question that I'll get about the expected move is, okay, what happens if it has a two standard deviation move? Well, roughly all you have to do for that is just double it. So instead of taking $3.50, double it. So we're looking at about a $7 move in either direction. And a two standard deviation move would, you know, encompass about 95% of all occurrences. But you can't look at expected move and simply say, we're going to move 350 because, again, expect the unexpected from time to time. But you can use the expected move from something as, as simple as, number one, managing your risk. You should know that in the next eight days, this product, Apple, is expecting a $3.50 move. Can you weather that storm? How many shares are you long? How many shares are you short? How many deltas are you long? How many deltas are you short? Or, hey, maybe you just own some Apple and you have a stop order in. Well, you better know that this thing is expecting about a $3.50 move because the probability of you being stopped out, if you have your stop $2 out of the money, oh, here's my stop right at the 114 you know, level. It's an extremely high probability then of being stopped out. They're in, in like literally in numerous ways that you can use something as as simple as the idea of what the market is expecting Apple to move.